Is there any way you can test them for the COVID-19 as well? This and future videos in the series document our experience trying to figure out if the cause of our cat's out of the blue illness and rapidly declining health in late April 2020 is related to the pandemic. And this all began on Wednesday the 22nd. Papa Bale, you have a fever today? You throw up again? Loss of appetite? Not drinking your water? Poor baby. Hi, it's Laura from the Cat Doctor. Hey, Laura. So, um, we took a look at the schedule. Can you be here at 1045? Uh, it's what, what time is it now? Nine o'clock? Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah, we can try to get there. And then what we're doing now is car appointments. You'll call me when you pull up in front and, um, I'll check Lord Waffles in over the phone and then an assistant will come out and get him from the car. And then Dr. Penny will do the examination and call you on your cell phone. So you'll wait in the car. We'll see you at 1045. Yep. See you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh. oh, yeah. I, I need to see the cars again. See you in a bit. Bye. See you soon. Going outside. Wish me luck. Oh. All right. Just got into the car that we took out this morning. We're taking our cat, Lord Waffle, to the vet in Long Island. Going to be driving about 11 miles, 20 minutes east. Thank God it's opened. Over the past 40 hours, our cat Waffle, or Waffy, like, as we like to call him, has been experiencing really bad fever, lethargy. He's not eating or drinking at all, which is very shocking because he loves to eat and drink all the time. And his body is super hot when you touch him. So we're a little bit worried. He clearly has a really bad fever. We're concerned that he might have also gotten the coronavirus from us. As of today, there are two cases here in the state of New York with cats. First two cases of cats catching coronavirus where the humans transmit to the cats and not the other way around. So Chris and I are feeling a little bit better. Actually, we're feeling a lot better, but we're worried that uh, as we got it, possibly have gotten it and recovered, we transmit it to our cat waffle. So thankfully we found a car that was available. The vet is still open. They're still considered an essential service. So thank God I'm gonna drive and hopefully see if he's okay. So fingers crossed. Hey baby, I know you're not feeling well. So we gotta go to the doctor. Okay. We gotta go inside. Carry, okay? I know, I know you don't like you don't like carriers because you don't like cars. I'm sorry. 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 No, you gotta stay inside, baby. You gotta stay inside. I know you don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't like it. Oh. Should have that zipped up a little bit. Okay, come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 I'll get in. You know, you don't like this part. You do not like this part. Get him? Yeah, he's right here. Aww. I think he may have pooped already. Already? Yeah. Oh no. How's it going, Wafs? Our cat is so old, so every time he's in the car, he freaks out and ends up pulling or peeping, peeing everywhere. Hey, Wafs. Oh, wow, it smells. Oh boy. Is he okay? No, I think he pooped for sure. Hey, buddy. Hey. Come on out. Okay. Okay, oh, where's his pee-pee pads? Come on. Just uh, connecting it to Apple CarPlay. Address in, 12 miles, 22 minutes. All right, Wafs, we're, we're off. We're going, you, you hate this part. All right, let's see if he's gonna make have any accidents in the car. Oh no, it's unstable, I need to put the pee-pee pad there. Yeah, I know, you don't like it, you don't like it. Oh my gosh, please be gentle, Pussy. Oh, he's, he's making some movements. Oh, 
Okay, are you, are you gonna try to go? Should I just uh, pull over here? Yeah, you can just pull over. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's going. Should I just... He's doing something. Some movements in his uh, hindquarters. Max AC, Max AC. Hoop smells coming. The windows are open? Windows are open. He moved the cat pad out of the way so it couldn't really get his whole butt underneath it. Oh, at least the mask is coming handy. Look at this. Hey. You laid one? Did you lay a deucer? Oh, there's a baby one! Okay! Alright, let, let me clean it up. Okay, come up here. Alright, this one's manageable. Duh! So this is like the best poop he's done in the car. Come here, come upstairs. You like this one, right? Oh, it's such a small car. <laughs> and like we said, our cat's getting really, really old. So every time he's in the car, he freaks out. And he has to go to the bathroom, either number one, number two, or for really lucky, he does both. And sometimes he would do it more than once per car ride. So it's quite the adventure. But as you can see, got my masks, got our gloves. Already. You okay? Mm, there's some mucus in his poo poo. Uh oh. I need to take a picture so I send it to the doctor. All right, on the road after we clean this up. Poopy done. Now, do you want to come up here onto your bed? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you feeling better after the poop? Feeling better after the poop? Come here. Come here. Come up. Good boy. Okay. I got your butt. Just lie down. does this. He does not sleep on my lap when we're in the car. So I think he just needs some extra comfort. But he's not feeling well. Hey my baby. You were almost there. Hang on. We're about one minute away from the cat doctor, one of our favorite vets here in the greater New York City area. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic customer service, super responsive, very affordable, and just overall really nice people who know what they're talking about. And comforts you along the way so I am shortly gonna have to call them um, we, we're not allowed to go inside the store because of the pandemic so we're gonna call them they're gonna come out and pick up wafts and then Chris and I just have to wait drive around maybe get some coffee and just wait and pray that he's okay there it is. there's the cat doctor Hey Laura, this is Preston. We're, we just pulled up outside uh, to drop off our cat waffles. Okay, I'm gonna check in over the phone. Okay. Okay, so he has a fever, right? He's hot to the touch, and he hasn't eaten in two days, right? Yeah, he also vomited. Any coughing and, any coughing and sneezing? Coughing and sneezing, not so no. much. Uh, he did vomit twice. twice over the past like 24 hours. It, 40 the, hours. 40 hours, they kind of look like yellowish bubbles. Um, yellow bile okay. yellow bile and then this morning actually on the way here he did a small little poop but there was mucus coming out uh, on the tail end of like the poop we've never seen like thick mucus uh, we have the stool sample in the car uh, just in case terrific but... okay when the um, assistant comes out just make sure that she uh, takes that too okay so it's diarrhea with mucus well it's not actually diarrhea it's semi-solid I have a photo of it as well, but then there's mucus at one of the ends, like really thick, phlegmy mucus. Okay, what cell number do you guys have right now where Dr. Penny can call you? Uh, 
this one would be the best. Okay, someone will be out shortly. Are you in the blue car here? Yes. Uh, we're in the blue car. Actually, I have a quick question. Uh, do you yes. guys also do test, like testing for cats for the virus as well? Um, that would be a question for Dr. Penny. Okay. 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 Awesome. Someone will be out shortly to um, get Lord Waffles from the car, okay? Thank you so Thank much. You, Laura. No problem. Bye. Bye. Now we just wait. Oh, what a day. What a morning. What a morning. We it's only 10.45. Yeah, I had to drop everything we're gonna do today. Take care of this little boy. So handsome. All right, you'll be okay, Ross. Get nice and cozy. Yeah, good boy. Get nice and cozy, okay. The tail is wrapped around. How are you feeling? Oh, anxious, stressed. It's really hard when your furry, furry loved ones, you know, are not feeling well. Because of us. Yeah, I mean, if we had coronavirus, you know, I wish we could have gotten tested, but we couldn't. So. We're gonna see if his doctor maybe is able to administer a test. And if she is, maybe we can try to get more conclusive information. You know, if he contracted it, then most likely he would have gotten it from us. So that could kind of give some certainty whether or not, you know, we were actual carriers. Um, yeah, uh, we read some more information that antibody testing is opening up. Uh, we still have to again see, you know, if we qualify for this parameter. So another day we're going to try that. But right now we just got to focus and take care of the little, our little baby right here. We're also not really sure if he can get testing, how he can get testing, right? So yeah. far, two cats in the state of New York tested positive for the virus. So we're going to, you know, we asked the vet or hopefully we're going to ask again to see if uh, they can send his samples to the lab. But it's frustrating just like not knowing. It's just living with the unknown. Yeah. Chris and I can't even get tested. We want to badly, but we can't. Still. It's uh mid-April. Anyway, first priority is make sure he's okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh yeah. Oh, right here. I'm just gonna bring. Yeah, right in. here. We're just gonna put him in the side of the carrier. Okay. okay. okay? Yeah. Just. I know. I know. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I know you don't like it. You gotta go in. Thank you so much. Uh, so grateful that you guys are still open. Yeah. Yeah. Stay safe. Good boy, good boy, good boy. I know. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And then he also has a stool sample. He, he made this about like uh, 20 minutes ago. Okay, no problem. All right, so you put it this spot, yeah, this yeah. person's on top of the cage. All right, bye, Wax. Bye, Wax. Okay, you gotta put it soon, so oh. yeah. Do you know how long it's gonna take? No, it's not gonna take long. Oh, okay. All right. Bye. Oh, that's it. Oh, baby. <laughs> Bye. Oh. He was crying. I hope he's okay. He's at the cat doctor.